you are telling your energy production system, the one that's supposed to keep you young, that it is the middle of the day, even though it's 10 o'clock at night. And that completely breaks this delicate system that's there to give us energy. The environment inside of you is somewhat in your control. It comes down to what you put inside your body, but the environment inside of you is also what you think about, your emotional state, uh, how you're breathing, all that changes things. But if you're breathing air that's full of car exhaust and the environment ar around you has bad light in it, so junk light is a major issue for us now. Over the last five years, we've installed light that tells our body that it's midsummer all day long, much more so than it did 10 or 20 or 100 years ago. And it is breaking our ability to make energy. Type 2 diabetes rates are going up, macular degeneration is going up. These are functions of the light environment, which is shocking when you think about it. When you come to realize that there's thousands of studies showing that our bodies react to light no more or less than plants. It's that important for us. Our skin is light sensitive, our eyes are light sensitive, our brain is light sensitive. You realize that the type of light you put into the system should matter quite a bit. Along the last 30 years, we said, well, let's save some money. Like, let's take out parts of the light spectrum so we can just focus on this narrow visible spectrum. Well, if you look from an energy perspective, great, well, burn less coal. This sounds like a good idea. The problem is, that decision was made by people looking to save electricity. What they didn't know and couldn't have known back then was that by changing the mix of different colors in the light, by removing heat from light, which is infrared, then our body responds differently to the light. We are wired to be under full spectrum sunshine, which has ultraviolet A, ultraviolet B, infrared, things we can't even see. And it has a normal mix of blue and red and all these different colors and the whole rainbow. Well, when you go indoors and you turn on that, that new white LED light that's supposed to save a lot of energy, there is no heat. Your body senses heat and it's like, wait, something's wrong. I'm getting, like, basically, I'm getting high fructose corn syrup from a light bulb. That's what's happening here. It is just an extract of the light that we need. And when you feed yourself only that extract, it's no wonder that your sleep quality goes down. It's no wonder that you don't make as much melatonin. It's no wonder you have food cravings at the end of the day. It's no wonder you're tired and cranky because the physiological stress that bad light puts on your body, it's subtle, but when people take steps to fix it, they feel amazing. It's even worse with looking at bright phones, looking at these big screen TVs that have incredibly bright lighting. You are telling your energy production system, the one that's supposed to keep you young, that it is the middle of the day even though it's 10 o'clock at night. And that completely breaks this delicate system that's there to give us energy. So the odds are right now that if you live in a city, even a suburb, that there is a street light that's been turned into an LED light, which makes it way more of a junk light source than it was before, and the odds are that your curtains don't work. So now every night when your body needs darkness, we evolve to be in caves. And I'll tell you what darkness does in a second. But without that darkness every night, you're completely wasting your sleep because you're not getting the good quality sleep you could be getting. The reason darkness is so important for our bodies is that our mitochondria actually make light and they listen to light. It's one of the ways they communicate with each other. Well, they can only do that in a dark environment. And we've actually proved this using network engineering science. It's fascinating, but pitch dark means your cells can say, hey, are you busy? I'm not busy, and they can sync up. But when you steal that darkness from your body by having little charging things in your room, by having light coming in through your curtains, what you do is you just tell the body, I'm sorry, you don't get to coordinate your maintenance cycles anymore and you will age more quickly. If you enjoyed this clip, please subscribe to our channel. And for more great content, check out the next video. If you're ready for a real health transformation, click the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.